Kaya, whatever is the result is for you, etong come September 25, I know you're still a winner, kisses. Kahit ano pa yan. I know that you've worked so hard. Ang dami mong, ang dami mong sina- <laughs> yes, ang dami mong sinacrifice for this and it just, uh, it only shows how determined you are, how strong of a person you are and and how you are not afraid you know to change things kasi ang comfortable mo na eh, to the to the old career diba to the the current career actually that you have and you actually put everything on hold because you have another dream dream that you have to fulfill so it only shows na kung gaano ka strong and you're not afraid diba to put yourself out there yeah good luck sa yo diba next question from Blair. Oh, eto. Why should you be the next Miss Universe Philippines? I think that I should be the next Miss Universe Philippines. Not despite my age. Not despite my height. But because of my height and my age. Because now we live in a modern world. Yes. Amen. Inuubo yung kasama mo, ha? Mamaya. Char! <laughs> <laughs> Bawal abuhin. <laughs> Next question. Sabi ni Vin Vino, is there anything you consider absolutely unforgivable? Definitely. There's something I consider absolutely unforgivable and it's not respecting yourself. Mm-mm. Because if you will not respect yourself and not give yourself some love, you will not be able to give that to other people. Oy, I love it. I always say that too. From Astrid Thoughts, what does it mean to be a modern-day woman? I think, Miss MJ, a modern-day woman is a woman who is not afraid to change. That and you are the, the modern-day woman, right? Thank you. <laughs> pag sabi mo, mo ganon, that's you. Okay, sorry, sorry, kidat ko yung I always, I always do that. I'm not sure. 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 I'm the freedom that we are enjoying, it's because women from the past and people in general fought for it, fought for our rights. So in the future, the future will be a good one if we continue to fight and break boundaries. Pero magsisimulayan by ourselves how we live without accepting the societal norms. Mm. Sabi ni Neil, What's that one thing that you wish people would normalize? Ganda nito. I think Miss MJ This is not personal for me but I have so many friends who are affected by this Mm-mm. that I think I would like people to normalize normalize the LGBTQ relationships because I have noticed that People always say, oh, you're LGBTQ, ang sweet nyo naman, ganito, ganyan. Oh, you're LGBTQ, di ba talented kayo? But they're normal people. And Mm-mm. more than that, I think that you don't have to isolate them. Parang may mga expectations lagi. Pag yes. LGBTQ. So, so just, MJ, pag may LGBTQ, tapos hindi talented, hindi na okay yun. Hindi na, oo, totoo yan. They can I agree. Own. And they should be treated like that. Agree. Ang galing ni Kisses, no? Mukhang nagta-training to everyday ng Q&A. Ready-ready na po siya, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sabi ni KKK Apple, if you were the leader of your country, how would you... Ay, wag na tayo nito. Ano ba yan? Ito na lang kay Rahun. <laughs> Why is your platform important to you? Or how how important is your platform for you? Miss MJ, you know, despite my not using social media recently, I really love social media. Mm-hmm. Because 
because of social media, I was able to meet people from Japan, from US, from KSA, from Arab Emirates, so many different countries. The mga Pilipino pa OFW. Uh-uh. I got mm-hmm. to meet people. And there was one time I went to Japan because my mm-hmm. show. I got to meet these people to Singapore. I mean, it's the beauty of social media. Right? I- the it's connecting people no across the world and yes. it's one of the biggest blessings that i have in my life to connect people that way but as what i've told you earlier you do you if you if you feel like you need to take some time off from social media because you know it can be too heavy sometimes to just hear so many noises then you do you because this is your dream this is for you Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to do so. Sabi ni Raven, but kailangang pumalakpak, pumalakpak pag masaya, kasi pumapalakpak po. <laughs> Very light lah. Pili ko na pumalakpak pag masaya ka, because you are your own biggest fan. <laughs> Ang galing galing. Ganon ka ba pag masaya ka? <laughs> Yay! Siguro pag nalo ka. Um, the winner is kisses. Yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that your mannerism? Puma palak pa ka ba? I think. Um, for example, may masarap ako ng food na na taste. Pina palak pa kan mo yung pagkain. Oration ba yon? <laughs> malapit ka ng malapit ka ng maubos. <laughs> <laughs> Sabi ko sa iyo lolokohin kita eh kaya minarningan kita. <laughs> tawa lang tawa ka tuloy lang tawa. Sa Sabi ni Reese, so what's your advice to teenagers who are experiencing cyberbullying? Well, Miss MJ, I have experienced that myself, so that's a really personal advice that I would give. When I was 17 years old, I was thrust into the world of showbiz with no preparation. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. I would say to that girl, hold on. I think there will be lots of tears, but after that, you will be very much stronger. And please be your own advocate. Please fight for your needs. Fight for what you want. Promise it will Ooh. be worth it. It will be worth it, yes. Look at kisses now. She's fighting for what she wants. So, eto pa my last question tayo. What's the last best thing that you just did for yourself? I think Miss MJ that was last week. Mm-hmm. I was in a workshop with my dear friend Mr. Jerry Diaz and he told me Hi Tito Jerry. <laughs> If you're watching, <laughs> so we just super, super mabait yan, as in super Very kind good. to all the the queens. Sige, go go go. So Miss MJ, we both discovered that I have a tendency to discount myself, mm. that, so that other people won't feel bad about something. For example, mm. something that's true about me. For example, I have so many supporters and. Uh, dearest supporters and people would say to me na oh sana ano ganyan din ako things like that so i always discount myself so that those won't feel bad but it's not a good habit because it doesn't really help it doesn't really help anybody so instead of discounting yourself you should own what you have and be thankful oh nga kaya nga lagi kong sinasabi ang ganda ko eh sinasabi ko tinitweet <laughs> ko talaga ang ganda ko Ina announce ko na. <laughs> don't, don't ever discount yourself. <laughs> no, but you it is something that is possible. Kung sinabi nila ang sikat mo naman kisses, what can I do? <laughs> what, wala, wala, ganun talaga. Miss <laughs> MJ. <laughs> Pag sinabi nila, bakit ang sikat mo kisses? That's how it is. 
Hindi, huwag mong gagawin yun. Ako, ako, ako. Mamaya gawin mo, kasalanan ko, ha. <laughs> Pero hindi nga, I wanna, I wanna ask you that. What's the pressure of being this famous and then entering in a beauty pageant where, where all of you are on the same equal footing? Na it's actually fame and whatever is trending out there is not gonna matter on the decision of the people who's actually looking at you during come the competition time. Ano yung pressure niyo sa? Do you have this pressure na I have to win this for my fans or like parang ayoko mapahiya dahil si Katako? Well, Miss MJ, the first thought ko talaga why I was scared to join the pageant is because you will be locked in with a lot of girls, and mm-hmm. I experienced some bullying when I was 17 and years in the showbiz. So I was afraid, pero I realized that I I told myself that these girls will be nice, these girls will be nice, and I just had to remind myself that and. With regards to pressure from my supporters, not at all. Mm-mm. Because it's my dream, and it's um, well, they're very supportive. I appreciate that. But really, the engine of this thing, how I will win this, it, it really depends on me. So mm-hmm. no pressure at all. Oi, kiss the balls. Do you feel any pressure right now? No pressure. Any pressure? <laughs> no pressure. Sila yung kinakabahan, I'm sure kasi ikaw prepared kay alam mo yung parang ina-expect mo kung ano yung mangyayari. You've been preparing for that. Ano naman 